not enough compression. So, on this variety of Minerali copy, or Yamaha Jog Engine copy, which is called a 1QM something, you have something very similar to what you have on the Yamaha version, but of course at the bottom, like on everything that's not machined extremely well, you have a gasket, and then you have a top gasket under here, which is made out of steel, right? And they need to be replaced. So they are currently on their way, and then I won't be running my moped with 120 pounds of compression or something like that, causing it to basically not be able to start after a while. And now we're ready for the next stage. Allow it to seat for a minute. You don't want to make sure you want to make sure everything isn't creased or put on incorrectly, upside down for example. It looks fine. Now you can push it up so it's butted up. Look around the gasket to make sure it's not got any kinks in it. And now I can put the head on with the head gasket which is made of steel. And then seat everything. Everything feels nice and seated and push down slightly which is what we want. And now I can put the head bolts on and do them up. And now done up. And I'm going to now turn the engine over twice. And it sounds like everything's moving perfectly. And I can see that the head is all nicely ready to be torqued up. All right, after two years, everything is finished. So you'll see later in the video a uh, cut of me trying to turn the motor over and I had waterlogged fuel. That was the problem. So everything to do with the electrics is fixed and finished. So after uh, solving the problem, or at least working out what the problem was, which is in engineering often 90% of the battle, I have cycled through I don't know, 10 litres of 91 sprayed compressed air in there. Replaced the top part here with a part that actually fits properly. Flushed the water as uh, the uh, manual from Polytech told me, which is to just repeatedly flush it until the water is uh, removed from the baffles. Inside here, there are baffles. Um, and yeah, we're ready to kick it over and give it a go. So um, once it's dried out completely, I'm uh, currently letting the uh, water that has appeared inside of the crankcase dry out after blowing the compressed air through there and uh, we're getting ready to start it up here we have a DD50 okay so this is a Taiwanese moped based on a Honda engine you'll see here this is something similar to what you get on a Honda and I'm going to explain how the wiring works in the next video after I do the lights and we're going to turn this into a water-cooled 90cc uh, project.